Hi guys, it's Lisa with Sales Vision on day number 14 of, um, oh, my thumb's in the way, I'm sorry. Um, day number 14 of the Sales Vision Video 100 Challenge, um, where the challenge is to do 100 videos in 100 days, you know, one each day for 100 days. And if we do not make a sale, Within that 100 days, then our president and CEO, Vincent Ortega Jr., will pay you or me $100. So if you're interested in getting in on this challenge, all you have to do is join at the link below. And although there's a lot of free training and you get paid just for signing up for free, to do the actual video challenge, um, you'll want to join the apprentice level, which is $7. So for $7, um, you can get experience doing videos and possibly get $100 if you don't end up making a sale. Okay, um, today's topic is going to be one that I'm actually going to continue and talk about it over several different videos because it's, it's too broad a topic for me to, you know to just do in, in three to five minutes. Um, I mean, I could talk hours on it. Um, I want to ask you guys a question and think about it. Um, do you feel that you're successful and that you've achieved the level of success or the kind of success that you always wanted for yourself and that you envisioned for yourself? And if you haven't, oh, one of my alarms is going off. If you haven't, then I want you to think about why you haven't and what are the main obstacles to why you haven't. I'm going to talk about the two main obstacles for me. And it's been a lifelong struggle and I'm just starting to get a grip on it now at 50 years old. But um, it's two things with me. And they both begin with a P. Procrastination and perfectionism. Those two traits that I have have been my form of self-sabotage year after year after year and keeping me from getting the success that I really want and know I deserve and know that I'm capable of getting. So um, they kind of go hand in hand. You might not think so because you might think if someone is a perfectionist, if they're striving for perfection, that they're not going to procrastinate. You know, they're going to be trying to be perfect with everything. But um, in reality, these two traits do go hand in hand. And one of the main reasons for procrastinating with many people is that they are a perfectionist. And things don't get done because if it's not perfect, then it's not done. So there may be deadlines um, for certain things. Um, you may want to apply for a job or you may want to you know, get an assignment done but you procrastinate because it is something that you will obsess on and that you will, you know, want to be perfect. So you work on it, you put it aside in the undone, you know, not perfect yet pile, and then you go back to it, you know, and it's never quite done because you are a perfectionist and perfection is impossible for us humans. We are imperfect. That's part of our nature. So, for instance, um, there's been a lot of writing contests I wanted to enter, and there were the times I wanted to submit some of my writing and try to get it published. I got so, so close, but it just wasn't perfect. So the deadline came and went. And same with some of my photography. There's been contests and different things that I wanted to enter. And trying to decide on which version of a picture is the best one to submit. And I'll have 30 versions of one picture with different edits. And I look at them and look at them and eh, I'll decide later. It's too hard. I've narrowed it down to five, you know, but I can only enter one. And I look at it again, and I'm not sure. And I decide to do a few more edits, get it just perfect, you know. And the deadline comes and goes, and I miss another opportunity because of perfectionism. 
or even worse, I get stuck in analysis paralysis where I don't even start the project because God knows I can't get it perfect. Why even begin? Where I begin and it's just not coming to me that easy and I say, well, you know what? It's not for me. I don't want to fail. So since I don't want to take a chance at failing, I'll, I'll do something that I know I can do perfectly or that I feel I can do more close to perfectly. So that's been the story of my life. Um, and I've already been talking for five minutes, so I'm not going to like get into what I wanted to get into, which was different. Um, the next video, I'm going to talk about different signs that mean that you are a perfectionist and different ways that you can overcome it because I am certainly working at overcoming it now. Um, if you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to run your own business and be successful, you cannot procrastinate and you cannot, you know, let your perfectionism get the better of you. Sometimes done is better than perfect and you can always work on it and make it better later. And you also can't procrastinate because you miss out on opportunities. And the way you learn is from failure. If you're not willing to fail, then don't run your own business and don't be an entrepreneur because that is the ticket is to fail to fail fast learn from it tweak it and then start again so that's about it for today is um, that's kind of an introduction so i'm interested in what people have to say like are you interested in this topic if i spend a few videos talking about perfectionism and talking about procrastination and giving tips about what works and how to develop good habits that will lead you to success. Um, if this interests you, please leave a comment down below. I think a lot of people will be able to relate to it. Um, you know, and it can be with anything. It can be with like life events and um, relationships, looking for that perfect relationship, having children, waiting for the perfect time. It doesn't have to be just with work stuff. So um, I hope you got some value out of this video. And I'm excited because this is a topic that I love talking about. Um, and having been a psychology um, graduate that used to work as a counselor, funny thing is I used to help people with this all the time, you know, and with different issues. There was one person I wasn't able to, to help, though, and that was myself. Good at giving advice. Wasn't good at taking advice. But now I'm, I'm starting to see some progress with myself. And I want to share it with you. So talk to you soon. Have a great Monday, guys, the rest of Monday. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.